Welcome to Camper Fandango. So, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to install this plastic rubber trim inside the deluxe belt line trim on a split screen camper van, VW of course. pair of scissors, the trim itself, and over here this is a pot of very hot, very hot water. So I boiled it and then brought it down and it's going to be great. Now the trick to this is not to make it hot, fit it in and then cut it at the end because it will shrink when it gets cold and you won't have a long enough piece. So, as you can see here, this one's cool, and it's perfect length. When it's shrunk down, it's now the right size. So obviously you take it, and you hold it up one end, pull it across so it's the right length. There. And then cut it before you make it hot. And just simply throw the bit you've cut into the pot, hot water, leave it there for a little while, it's going to become very, very pliable, very soft, certainly soft enough to be able to squish in just with your, your thumbnails, your fingers, very soft, and you'll be able to put it right in, start at one end, obviously tuck it into the little end piece here, and then work your way along, what I like to do is sit it in the bottom, and then push with my nails along the top and it just tucks in and as you work your way up to the end don't go right to the end obviously because you'll have too much because it'll be too long you've got to sort of go three quarters of the way and then put the other end in under the trim and start working your way back to the middle and it's going to be a little bit tough because it's still going to be a bit too long as it's malleable but then once you get it in it's going to start shrinking down, it'll become a little bit more stiff, but the last little bit you'll just be able to push in, it's no problem. As you can see, I've already done it here, not an issue. So, be very careful with the hot water. Um, you can do what you like, I'd get a pair of tongs from the kitchen or something. I've just got a little bit of welding wire and I've, I've put a little hook on each end, so that I can very easily just fish it out of the water without burning myself. Just see if it's cooked. I'll leave that in there for just a little bit longer. This is the sealing wax red uh, trim strip because it's a sealing wax red and beige grey bus. I mean obviously I think there's about four or five different colours of this. Okay. Yep. That's ready. So you can see how how easily that's going to flex, so I'm just going to go bring you into the action a bit better. I'm going to tuck that in the end, put the bottom row in, and start it on the top as well. Just literally pushing it with your fingernails to get it going. And you can run it along like that. But it's ever so easy. Just tucks under there. Okay. Need to work fairly quickly with this, otherwise it starts to get sort of tougher again. It's just that simple. So, very quick video today. Right, and then I'm going to start at the other end, poke that in, get that started, work my way back, because it's going to be a bit trickier to do the end, like I say, if it's too long. So 
So if I just meet up with a little excess bulge here. Now what what I find is if you try and make sure that you push them back and in because it tends to sit out a bit like that then you'll find that it's a little bit easier but there's a little middle bit that's where it's trickier you just gotta just gotta fight it a little bit with your nails but it will it'll go Nearly there. Of course, if you haven't got any nails, you can always use one of those plastic car body filler spreaders or a little wooden spatula or something just so you don't scratch anything just chasing it back to the middle So you can see it's in, just make sure it's all pushed in nice. There we go, that's how easy it is, simple.